Good day to you all. My name is Jane Seymour, and I am most famous for being the third wife of Henry VIII, King of England. However, there is so much more to my story, and so, today, I will be telling you of my life and of my family before I became the most beloved queen and wife of Henry. It is not known for certain the exact date of my birth, but believed to have been in the year 1508, and almost certainly born at Wolf Hall in Wiltshire. Born into the widely respected Seymour family, who were held in high regard at court. My ancestry traces back to a well-known King of England, Edward III, as did my later mistress, Catherine of Aragon. My line descends from his son, Lionel of Antwerp, first Duke of Clarence, and through this connection, Henry and I were fifth cousins. I also share a great-grandmother, Elizabeth Cheney, with my predecessor and second wife of the King, Anne Boleyn, as well as his fifth wife, Catherine Howard. My father was a highly respected and trusted man in the service of his King, who, due to his hard work, was honoured with a knighthood and later was given the role Gentleman of the King's Bedchamber. Both the knighthood and this role required deep trust from the king, and thanks to the dedication and loyal service of my father, as well as his ancestors, the Seymour name has true pedigree and prestige, renowned for their devotion in support of the crown. One of six children, four boys and two girls, my mother Marjorie Wentworth saw to it that I was educated in all the important aspects of being a lady. My needlework was considered beautiful and elaborate, and my skills with household management would later be of great value. Reading and writing were considered less important for myself as a girl. However, it was a different story for my brothers. The two eldest were destined to become courtiers, and so much more time and effort was put into their education. Edward, first Duke of Somerset, first Earl of Hertford, and first Viscount Beecham, would later become Lord Protector of England to support my dear boy, his nephew, in his reign. I will tell you about my son soon. My second eldest brother, Thomas, was one of the courtiers selected to meet Anne of Cleves, apparently Henry's fourth wife, at Calais, to ensure that she arrived safely on English soil. He became so jealous of our brother Edward's rise, he married someone called Catherine Parr in his quest for power. And he was successful, as from this marriage he gained the title First Baron of Sudley. Later, his poor judgment resulted in him being condemned to death. As for me, I like to stay out of trouble, and being soft of speech, small of stature, and pale of skin, it is easy, and I am often overlooked. I am a gentle and peaceful soul, happy as most of my needle and yarn. Then how so did I catch the eye of the King of England, most powerful man in the whole of Europe, and become Queen? Join me next time to find out.